All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Aries Gaming, episode 28, Wheel of Fittings. All right. So um, uh, I've done this in other games, other RPGs and things where uh, it's really exciting to me sometimes to just roll the dice and see what kind of garbage comes out. Uh, so what I've done is um, I have made a, I found a little website called Wheel of Names, and you can make, you can type stuff over here. It puts it on the wheel and then you spin the wheel and you see what's going to happen. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> I just love this thing. It's so stupid. So I programmed it. Do I want tacos? Do I want pizza? Or do I want taco pizza? But we don't, we're not going to do that. Today we are going to set it up to build us a level three mission running cruiser. So let's see what happens. Now I've got this little document all set up over here. And what this document does is it allows me to just copy paste. So first, the first thing we're going to put into the wheel, the wheel of fitting, is all of the uh, racial cruisers here. No faction stuff. I don't want to spend a lot of money on a thing that's probably going to blow up. So here's the wheel of all the cruisers. Let's see what we're going to fly today. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of Vexer. Something I'm good at, please. Oh my god, I don't even know what ship that is. Today we will be flying a bellicose uh, in PvE level 3 missions. Is that, a, is that even a... Is that the Ewar ship of the, of the Minmatar? I don't even know what it is. So, I, okay, I'm going to keep track of all this junk on my, on my papyrus here um, and uh, use this ancient writing stick as well. So here is the Wheel of Fitting bellicose that we're going to fit up. Now... Now that we've chosen the bellicose, we're going to get rid of this, and we're going to start uh, putting some guns on this thing. Now, I, I set a couple rules for myself. I want to make sure that one of my mid slots is a prop mod so that this isn't super painful, but I also want it to be somewhat painful, so we're going to roll per high slot. Now, hang on. I didn't even know what a bellicose is. Let's check it out. Oops, not bellicose. This search function should know what I meant. Um, okay, so it's... Well, hopefully we roll a uh, target painter on this. Uh, okay. So actually, it can only run missiles. So we only have to uh, roll for missiles on this, uh, this little buddy here. And you know what? Because it can only run missiles, we're going to actually put, uh, we're going to put our utility slot into the mix as well. So we're, we're going to either do heavy assaults or heavy missiles. And, um, and we're going to put a, uh, like a utility high. Maybe that'll be something. I don't know what it is, but we'll figure it out later. So we're going to roll this. We're going to spin this four times because there's four high slots. And we're going to write down uh, what we get. So here comes the first high slot. It is a ham slot. So we will fit a ham launcher up there. And now we shall spin the wheel of fitting again and see what we get on roll two. So we're going to have a heavy, oh boy, a ham and a heavy. So what we'll try to do is if we end up with a bunch of like weird range things, uh, we're going to try to match ranges. So another ham slot, is that right? Mm, ham. So there's two short range weapon systems and the long range. <laughs> and let's see what happens here. Are we going to get a utility high? We are utility. Okay, so we'll have three weapon systems and a utility high. Maybe that'll be like a drone range or I don't even know, auto-targeting? I don't know what to put up there. Uh, a Nosferatu, perhaps? Uh, let's, we'll find out. So now we're going to roll the mid slots five times. Now here's what I've got for the mid slots. We could get a tank slot. We could get a utility slot. We could get an EWAR slot, which I really hope we get. And I also have something called waste in the mids. This means I have to put some kind of module I would see normally in one of my shit fit videos into the mid slot. It doesn't have to be a complete and utter waste, but it's got to be something that just doesn't work with the fit at all. Um, in, in uh, Not at all. It can't be detrimental, but it, it's not like, you know, well, anyway, we'll see. Okay, so let's load up the wheel. We'll see what I decide that is. With tank, utility, EWAR. Hopefully we get that because we have target painter bonuses. And a waste slot. All right, here we go. We're going to spin this uh, five times. Spin, spin, spin. So let's see what we get. Oh, God. Oh, please don't give me five wasted slots. Actually, I only have to spin it four times because one of these is going to be a prop mod, which I totally forgot about. So we have to waste a slot on something stupid. All right, let's spin it again. <laughs> Maybe I'll put some of my favorite. Oh, no. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Tank slot. 
Good, that's good. We need some tanks so we can survive in our little bellicose with target painters and hams. Well, we don't have a target painter yet. No, 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 no. Okay. Tank, and we spin it one more time to see what we have. So at least we'll have some tank in there. We could end up with tanks in the low, too. We don't know. We're going to mix tanks. We're going to mix... Okay. It's going to be a tanky little buddy. And we'll actually spin for the prop mod now. So we don't get any target painters. So we're going to waste completely waste a bonus there. Let's see what we're running here. And we are going to run on our short-range bellicose. Uh... It, no one knows. Oh, MWD. All right, we will run an MWD on our bellicose. And now we got to roll for the low slots. There is tank. There is damage, which I hope we get. There is utility lows. There is also a waste slot in the lows because it just wouldn't be proper if we didn't waste at least one slot on a power diagnostic unit or something like that. But I hope we get one tank because damage control. Come on, fitting Jesus. Looks like we get a damage down there. That's good. We could use some of that. The only thing we don't need is waste. Come on, baby. No waste. No waste. No waste. Okay. A second damage. We can do that. That, for us, is going to be like ballistic controls. Um, because we just want our missiles to be good. And we only have missiles. Damage. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, utility. It's just a, like a megapixel over the line. So that'll be stuff like fitting space things and tracking computers, or not tracking computers for missiles. What is it? I don't even know. No one knows. The other thing that does things. Third damage slot. And then we do the last low, which we got to waste and put a power diagnostic system down there or something stupid. Okay, let's do the rigs. Rigs can be either tank damage or utility. Um, I thought wasting a rig slot would... Eh, you know what? Screw it. We want this to end up on a, on a kill board somewhere. Here we go. Three spins for the rigs. Oh, no. No, slow down. <laughs> slow down! Okay. Okay, utility rig. Something like... Um, a capacitor uh, unit or something like that. Tank slot. All right, that's good. Uh, oh, do we have to waste a rig? No, come on. Tank, tank, tank. Phew. Okay. And that is the spins from the wheel. It doesn't look awful. I think we can pull this off. Let's, let's really look at this ship first, though. 5% uh, bonus to rapid light, heavy missile, and heavy assault launcher rate of fire. That's great. Um, and explosion velocity. So this is a pretty cool little cruiser. Look at that. Uh, bonus to target painter effectiveness is going to be completely wasted. We do not have a utility mid. We didn't roll a utility mid. Um, so let's fit let's fit our guns first, or our launchers, rather. Uh, so we need one heavy missile launcher. And I will meta these in a second. I'm not very familiar. And then we'll put a heavy assault launcher. So I think... Um, We'll go for just the highest meta, because I'm almost positive I can't use Tech 2. Um, yeah, I'm a little ways away from that. So we will put, for our heavy missile launcher, we will put the Arbalest on. And for the hams, we will put the uh, Arbalest as well. So this is the heavy assault. We rolled two slots for that. We will come back to the utility high at the end of the build and see what we need to put in there. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. Now we're going to put the uh, micro warp drive on. Do we need to go this fast? Yeah, probably a good idea. We'll put the we'll put the compact one in for now because uh, I don't know how this fit space is going to shake out. But with our with our double heavy assault, we're definitely going to need to get in close to stuff. Um, and now we have three tank mods over here, which is phenomenal. We uh, I don't think we can do a passive tank. Let's find out if we if we put triple large shield extenders on. What does that bring our passive up to? Uh, that might be good enough because we have a tank rig as well. Oh, we have two tank rigs. We can maybe put double purgers on. They get up to 46. The problem is that leaves our resists in a terrible spot. So I think we will use this for a multi-spectrum. Um, yeah. 
let's do that. And we don't know what we're going to be up against, so we're just going to plop. Like, I'm not going to refit this for specific missions, so we're just going to put the, the multi-spectrum. Now we have to waste a mid-slot. But we will do the waste here, the waste there, the... the Oh, we have a utility one there. You know what? This is going to be a cap control unit. I can already tell. Um, you know what? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not. Uh, we'll fit the lows. So we have three damage. Oh, why did I roll the lows five times? There's only four of them. Uh Oh. Okay, we will do two damage. No, wait. The first four I rolled didn't involve the waste. But I kind of want to waste a slot because that seems really fun. Um, so, okay, we'll go, no, we'll do what, we'll do what I was supposed to. The waste was the fifth roll, so somebody probably caught that and was yelling at me. Don't spin the wheel again. The bellicose only has four low slots. I'm a bellicose main. All right. Um, so we'll put three damage and utility down there. So let's see what makes the, what makes these damage more? I better load them up because I, again, I don't really know, um, missiles very well. What's, what's, what's the missile people, the Kaldari Navy, right? So we'll do, um, We'll do some... Well, we're in Galante space, so who knows? Let's do some Scourge. And let's put some uh, Kaldari Navy Scourge Heavy Assaults. So, oh, wow, we have a whopping 91 DPS. <laughs> Is that a lot? That's not a lot. We're really going to need our... our I think how we rolled three damage uh, down there. Ballistic Control, I think, is the thing that makes our damage go up. Yeah, it does quite significantly. So let's see if we can fit three of those down there. Oh, we sure can. Oh, this thing's got a drone bay. Well, we better put some drones in there then. Um, we will. Uh, we will. Uh, we will run EM drones because that way uh, we'll cover basically all the spectrum here um, between between this. Actually, maybe we'll run um, explosive missiles and EM drones just so no matter what mission we run into, is that like a big brain move or is that just stupid? So we will run EM. Kaldari Navy, uh, Mjolnir, heavy assault, or heavy assault, and then Kaldari Navy, Mjolnir, heavy missiles. And I have no idea how fast these fire or how many of these I need. So we're just going to go with 2,500. I don't know. Here's a bunch. of like 5,000 of those guys. Okay. So, um, yeah, I actually really like the Bellicose so far. So we need a utility. We need to waste this mid-slot. Uh, what kind of utility do we need on this? So let's see if there's a way that we can get our... Let's see what happens here. So we've got 151 DPS, which is pretty sad. Uh, we'll, we'll put medium drones in. We'll, we'll fly four, whatever the EM... I think it's infiltrators. Is that right? Okay, we'll run four infiltrators. That brings us up to 257. Oh, wait a second. I'm wondering if it'd be better to put a drone damage amp down here. Ooh, things are heating up. Indeed it would. So we'll put a DDA down. What about two DDAs? Can we get more than 263? Uh, 264, yes please. That's one more DPS. That could cost us the game. All right, let's waste a mid-slot. Let's figure out what's going on over here. Um, we are going to do... What's a, what's a, nice, what's a nice waste of a slot? Um, damps. Uh, cargo scanners. I'm kind of tempted to waste it on. No, that would actually be useful. We'll put a. We'll put another. <laughs> we'll put another micro warp drive in. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, that's a complete waste of a slot. I dig it. Okay. Hopefully, this thing dies and people see the kill now. Um. So then we need uh, a utility low. What do we need down there? Probably some kind of cap recharger, right? Like some kind of capacitor. Because we... Oh, you know what? Though we're stable without our MWD on. We just have to be really careful about running it. So maybe we just go for some other kind of missile-y thing. Uh... Like I don't really understand missiles all that well, so let's. Or we could, we could, we could get more shield recharge. Actually, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll, no, because that's a tank mod. We can't get shield recharge. That's tank. We need utility, so we can get. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll just do like an overdrive. 
Overdrive Injector. Ooh, we're fast then. Or an Eye Stab. Warp Accelerators. See what kind of options we have. This would be tank stuff. We can't look in there. We have to look in, in here. I feel weapon upgrades. Like Guidance Enhancers. Guidance Computers. But these don't make my damage go up, do they? I don't really know what these do. Enhances the range and improves the precision of missiles. Okay. So they go faster and they explode more and they fly farther. What does the guidance computer do? This goes in a mid slot. I see. I haven't sorted by low because I'm very, very stupid. Missile guidance enhancers. Yeah, let's pop one of these in. I don't know. That uh, makes them go farther and uh, they go farther. Faster, I don't know, something. So this now I can get up to 18k. Oh, these guys go 57. 57 km. Now, I guess uh, we need a utility rig. What does that mean, even? I think we just put a cap control circuit up there. We don't need any fitting stuff. But the medium one, that's pretty expensive. For our tastes here. So we're going to do that. Now we just need to fill in our utility high. Oh, I can't just type in utility. And they are not going to tell me what it is. Throne link og. That seems pretty decent. Let's do that. And there we go. There's our disgustingly ugly 264 whopping 264 DPS fit. Based on the fitting wheel. It's got double... Micro warp drives, just in case you want to switch to this one. And then we're going to try to multi buy this from Dodixie. Let's see what happens. See if we can find all the pieces at a reasonable price where somebody hasn't done the weird market thing. Oh, there's a bellicose for, for 12 million. Oh, that's no good. Uh, 44 mil? Let's do it. Yeah, let's go. And now we will say fit ship, and we will call this wheel of fitting. And we'll fit it up. And we're going to get it in this disgusting thing. And uh, where is it? And we're going to fly to Ania, where we're going to start doing some level threes. So I'll see you when I get there. Okay, so let's go grab a mission. Uh, I'm hoping between the um, EM damage of these guys and the explosive damage of my missiles... Oh, no. I loaded EM missiles and EM drones. I am very stupid. Okay, well, you know what? We got to go on a quick shopping trip. Uh, I'll be right bark. So I went with Integrated Warriors because that seemed really fun. So, now back to Ania. So, let's grab oh, Ellerdet Gellerbees. Yep, there she is. Let's see what she's got for us. Level 3, I think we're going to try in this thing. Nice to see you, Ellerdet. Intercept the pirate smugglers. Okay, let's go. I don't know anything about this mission. It's in a Agralarie. A a so, we're going to fly there, and we're going to do this mission and see how this baby performs from wheel of fitting and we're going to keep these drones in our bay because well we forgot to take them out so all right we can we can start taking working on these guys oh off limits to outsiders eh well uh sentry gun what's my range on these again oh yeah i can just fire whatever nope those are my short ones oh god goodbye they're, not, they're gonna peter out right about there well they tried their best oh but don't worry. These guys will take care of it. Let's go orbit this guy. Um, oh, heavy missiles for everyone. Oh, you're going to be in trouble once my hams get on you. Here we go. It's ham time. I don't even know where he is. Oh, he's down there. Kablam. Oh. Oh, we forgot to turn our thing on. We are not very good at this so far. This is very difficult. We forgot to turn our MWD off. Oh, this is painful. Don't worry, we're passive tanked, though. 
So, so this orbit might be a little bit too, like I'm swinging a little bit wide of this guy. Plus, I'm going to run right into the space station. Okay, okay. What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Um, we'll send our drones over there, and we're gonna we're gonna actually set our default orbit again. I think 10 km is probably better. So we're swinging a little wide. Um, we can fire heavies at this guy. We need to put our MW down for one cycle just to get in range. Um, where is he? Whatever. My spaceship can't go through this, but my my stuff can. These heavies are coming in handy. One little rack of heavies here just to hit the weird stuff. Get over there. I'm going to turn my other MWD on. It wasn't a waste after all. I just want to get out of the way from this stupid structure. Mercenary elite. Yeah, right. Not against this fit. This is the best fit bellicose in all of New Eden. No target painters to get in the way. What is this? 18. Paboombas. Let's go. My DPS kind of sucks, actually. Can we talk about Alpha in the comments? People are obsessed with their ship's Alpha Strike. And I'm trying to decide if that is a stat that even matters for anything outside of trying to one-shot something. It would probably be good for breaking like passive shield reps because once you bash them below 25%, their reps start to suck. I did destroy all enemies. Now what am I supposed to do? This mission's stupid. What, do I just chill out in here and just like drink some tea or what? Fine. I will. Maybe there's something in this wreck. What, what am I supposed to do here? Is there something I'm supposed to be shooting? Probably, right? Probably just shoot the space. Oh, no, here comes the bad. Whoa, okay. Well, let's send our drones to take care of the little frigates first. Where'd they come from? Oh, there. I knew they were going to come from over there. And we will uh, we'll turn this off because it's stupid. And we're going to get in range with this. Oh, I can't, I can't boot up this micro warp drive until this one's done. You learn something new every day in this game. We can send uh, some heavies for this. Oh, no, convoy guard. This guy, this guy. We need to kill that guy. Convoy guard. We're going to send our heavies for him. Because we can. Oh, God. I can't afford another cycle of this. Oh, my gosh. Our utility low should, really should have been a cap thing, I think. Oh, but he's in range of my my hams. So here goes. All right. We'll have our drones keep taking these guys out. Convoy guard, convoy guard. The transport ships we don't care about right now. Wow, battle cruisers, huh? Hey, big gulps, hey, guys? All right. You are toast, my friend. Look at those missiles. They don't work like regular missiles. They're just kind of like little weird, like... Like, regular missiles just kind of shoot in a line. These guys are all heat-seeking, or ship-seeking, I suppose. There go my heavy assaults. And here goes my heavy and my heavy assaults. I see. So the heavy assaults fire, like, twice as fast, almost. They're just really fast. Now, we're going to get this guy... Do we have to kill the transport ships before they get somewhere? That would be probably pretty tricky. Well, we'll take out the guards. Well, gosh darn it, we've got enough DPS to do it. All right, so that guy's down. So let's take out the second convoy guard here. We need to orbit him at 10k because he is absolutely going to wreck us. Look at that regen, though. I'm glad we got so many tank mods uh, because... We'd be toast um, without them. we are almost got a reload. What's the reload like on uh, Heavy Assault? <laughs> Is it bad? It's not like Rapid Heavies or Rapid Lights or whatever. Those are kind of nasty. Okay, so that guy's going to drop. Now we're going to orbit this guy. So this definitely looks capable of doing level threes. We could have rolled a lot worse. Next time we do a, a Wheel of Fitting video, we will definitely uh, see what happens. It's very going to be very interesting. I, there's definitely going to be times where we are just awful. Oh, we'll have to see. But no one's attacking our drones, so that's good. These transport ships are about to get wrecked. I wonder what's inside the transport ships. Okay, we still got. We're still in ham range, so we're going to start blasting with hams. 
overall, I'd say that was a pretty easy mission for this build. We never got below, like, a third shield, if memory serves. And now these poor transport ships are going to die. The, the, the wife's like, oh, honey, I want you to be careful at work. And, you know, the, the, the guy's like, don't worry, honey, I'm, I'm flying a transport ship. It doesn't ever get into combat with anyone. And she's like, oh, thank God, because if I were to lose you, I don't know what I would do. And then he's like, all right, well, you know, I'll be really careful. Don't worry, uh, I have absolutely no tank on this thing. And, uh, you know, I'm, uh, are you running any dangerous missions today? No, we're just going to the spaceport with a hyphen. So, you know, don't worry too much about me. I'll be just fine. Let's see what's inside here. And now I'm going to turn on my little micro warp drive because I can keep it on the whole time. And it helps me get the wrecks. Now, this is the big question. What were they transporting that was so important that required a a guard of several battle cruisers, uh, several frigates, and a couple of mercenary elite fighters to guard the spaceport. Let's check it out. Well, I'm just I'm just worried about you at work. Are you at least carrying something uh, worthwhile that's gonna that's gonna further the cause of the of the pirates? These guys are like, oh yes, of course, honey. I was carrying. Today I'm going to be shipping. Frentics. Oh, Frentics. You didn't say it was a Frentix run. Now, I that's great. Uh, because, what is this? It's a drug, right? It's a, oh, I, I, but honey, I'm carrying the crystal egg today. Oh, the crystal egg. And I'm carrying Soothsayer. And I'm carrying Mind Flood. Okay, so these guys are running drugs. Well, you yeah, know, I should have expected that. They're just, they're just no good. Now we got to go back to Ania. And turn this in. And uh, what do we do with these drugs? Are they illegal? This is just a, a common feel-good booster. Used and abused around the universe in abundance. Kind of like Harry Potter. This booster causes the subject to fall into a blissful sleep. Reports tell of abusers falling into a deep coma, never to regain consciousness. Kind of like what happens after you read a Harry Potter novel. Highly addictive fluid of which... The toxic fumes are inhaled through the nostrils of the user. Mind flood kills brain cells quicker than submerging one's brain in battery acid, which is not like a recommended. And what's Frentix? Uh, abuse of this booster is common in underground communities around the universe. Or under space communities. Okay, is it still underground if you're in space? Welcome to the English language, I guess. Okay, we're going to do one more mission. One more level three. I've actually sort of fallen in love with this ship. It would be killer for PvP, probably. Oh, we should PvP with the Wheel of Fitting. <sighs> okay, so, okay. So there's going to be a companion video to this video where we're going to do PvE Bellicose, and then we are going to refit it using the wheel, and we're going to take it into PvP <laughs> in, like, low sec or something. And uh, we will see how that goes. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take out these heavy missile batteries first. We're gonna do it with our own heavy missiles. These guys, and then let's just like try it. No, I why the box should you should be able to tell the box what to do. Box is very stupid. Okay, that'll be good. That'll get us there. I'll start firing hams early because I got a little excited. Okay, let's see what it's like to be that guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's see what it's like to be this guy, watching this hot missiles coming in at you. No, no. I want to look at this guy. Oh, kabloomers. Oh, oh, he died. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Get back in the bay. What's even attacking them? This one merc commander is trying to kill my really expensive drones. Get in the bay. Get in the bay. See, their problem is there's so many commanders in their fleet. They're all like, get this guy. Get this guy. Everybody get over here. And everyone's like, I'm the commander. And the other guy's like, I'm the commander. And they're all like, we're all the commander. There's no chain of command with these NPCs. They need, a, they need a good FC. That's what they need. A day in the life of a heavy missile battery. Just chillin'. This is the central hub of the fledgling trade outpost. A steady stream of merchants come and go. I wonder what they're carrying. While well, mercenary guard ships diligently patrol the area. Their diligence is about to come to a swift, bellicose type end blow this up. Then we will take the frigates because they are always naughty little babies. 
He's right in range of the hams. He just doesn't understand. And the heavies, too. What a loser. Oh, God, our shields. Uh, don't fall below 25% or we're in trouble. Uh-oh. I don't know if our shields are going to hold here. Okay. All right. We just got to keep clearing DPS. Oh, I need small steel container. Well, who has it? Who has the small steel container? Let's go find out. Does the radio telescope have it? Is it in the bunker? All right, let's turn on our micro drive so we can get this uh, going here. Ugh, I wanted my little one on. There's a lot of pounding going on upstairs at my house. Should I be worried? Okay, we don't really want any of that garbage. I almost picked it up because I'm kind of a loot junkie, but I just want these sealed containers. You know what? Let's just blow up all of this stuff. Nope. I don't want the beacon. I want like... Okay, so he doesn't have it. It probably, you know, it probably told me in the thing... Oh. Oh, wow. I didn't know. Oh, look how long it takes to lock a beacon. Dude, wait. What are the... Is there an attributes tab? Oh, I wish I could see the sig radius. Whatever. We're going to blow up this dock bestower. It's probably in there. Yep, there they are. They were in that docked with Stower the whole time. Now we just need to dock up. Well, that was uh, pretty fun. I actually got into uh, some lowest shields there. Those last four guys were pretty baller. I bet their wives were proud. All right, so thanks for watching the first Wheel of Fitting video. Uh, I will be uh, doing a Wheel of Fitting PvP on the Bellicose next. And we will take this into low sec and see what we can do with it. I will uh, I'll strip the fitting completely even the rigs, and we will re-roll, and then we will, so we will have to have one of our mid-slots be a prop, and one of them be either a scram or a disruptor. Then we'll roll three mids, and we'll roll everything else. We'll only roll five lows this time, because now we know what we're doing, and we're a smart Eve. So yeah, thanks for watching Wheel of Fitting. This series is probably going to be um, my other series besides Shit Fit, and I am going to record one of those very, very soon. I found an unbelievable bank of fits that uh, blow my mind completely. So if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps me out. Um, it keeps me making content that I hope you find entertaining. So yeah. Oh, I forgot to put a skin on. Oh, no wonder it felt so bad. Both my skins are terrible. All right. See you later.